Hello everyone, welcome back. In the last video we saw installation of Node and NPM and in this one we'll look into the basics of Webpack. Webpack is a bundling tool. It takes a set of input files, processes them, bundles it and gives us the output files. That's it. There are certain rules defined in a file called Webpack config file. The rules would be what the input file should be from where should it be picked up and what the output file should be and where should it be saved. That's very basic rule. Apart from that we can give certain complex rules as well which we will look in detail in upcoming videos. Let's see a simple example in action to demonstrate how we can use webpack to create single javascript file first off open your command prompt and install the package called webpack you can install it with your command npm install or just i both the same webpack the package name hyphen g it stands for global so this says that webpack should be installed globally to know different packages available you can navigate to npm and you can find all the packages right here All right. since I've already installed it I'll skip this step once installation is complete you can you should be able to find the webpack in this particular location in Mac it should be something similar within users directory okay now that we have installed webpack I've created a simple example called webpack example open this project in your editor this has a folder called source and a file called webpack config source has one file called app.js which will be our main input file to the webpack and we also have a folder called components with various components of our application if you look into the files it just logged a message on console okay now first off let's open main content file so the basic purpose of this video is to show you how we can use or call or import various files residing in various folders in different files for example I will be calling these three files in this main content file and then I will be calling main content file in app.js and app.js will be an input to the webpack which will eventually give us one single output file so let's go ahead and call header footer and sidebar in main content to call those files we just have to type require and give the path to those files before that let's go ahead and create certain rules in our webpack config file webpack considers all files as modules and it has this object called module.export which is a JSON like input so this is where we will define our input file and the location for our output file to assign the input file type entry and give the path of the input file which is app.js 
so the location would be dot slash src slash app dot js dot slash always points to the parent folder of the current file which is webpack config file and the folder in which this file resides is webpack hyphen example so this is where dot slash always points in that our file resides inside source folder next the place where we want our output file to be it takes another object it has a key called path this is the location or a folder where we want our file to be let's say in our current folder which is webpack example i want it to be inside a folder called static inside that i want it to be in a, another folder by name build the file name i would like to have is bundle.js there's another object called resolve in which we can set the root of our application So here we are saying that source folder will be our root so that we can reference components in any of these files. Let's save the config file and move to main content. Here you can directly start calling your files first off i want to call header file which is inside components slash header slash header dot js and then i want to call um, the sidebar and finally i would like to call the footer finally we will be calling main content inside our app.js so to summarize we are first of all calling main content.js which is one file this file in turn calls these three various files in various folders now open command prompt and navigate to your project folder which is right here copy this location and say cd and paste that location once you are in your project folder just type web pack and hit enter well there seems to be an error okay so this is the error there's a extra semicolon let's take it out save enter webpack again well there's another error reference path is not defined okay so this path is something that we would be importing from webpack installation so let's type in path required so this traverses through node modules folders right here and in that webpack and from here it picks up the path and then uses it to resolve this path for us save go to command prompt again and run webpack there you go so webpack has created this static folder for us inside the static folder we gave a folder name called build and inside build we have given the file name 
called bundle.js if you open this file this is the code it generates internally these are the three logs that we had in our code now to open this in a browser right click on statics save it as index.html reference your bundle file save it and open it in your browser If you open up your console it shows three messages that we had if you happen to change any of these files let's change for example header save it and you need to run webpack again for the changes to reflect okay so it's ran great now if you refresh you can see the change now in bigger projects it's a pain always to change come back and run webpack again and again for that what you can do is run webpack with option called double hyphen watch this is a keyword which keeps watching for the changes in the files that you are working and hit enter while this instance is open if you change something let's say footer, footer has changed and save this file control s it has updated the bundle js file if you go to the browser and refresh you have the footer change so that's a really helpful command while you're working in real-time projects you can always come out of it by hitting ctrl c two times so that's all for this one it was pretty long one but i'm sure it will be helpful for you to understand react better in upcoming videos stay tuned and subscribe cheers